when I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. Hey everybody. Boy oh boy, flat earthers are the gift that keeps on giving. It is, there's the birds again. Whenever I'm in the backyard, the birds go off. It's, I don't know, about 7.30 a.m. about to head into work and I got a link uh, in a comment to a video by someone named Ranty. I'm not familiar with Ranty's work. I do hear that he was um, doing a lot of name calling on a live chat with uh, someone the other day. But he claims that my video debunked terrestrial refraction because in my experiment, the laser is seen to move. The laser is seen to move, but the board that it's up against doesn't, doesn't waver. <clears throat> And so he says that's evidence that the terrestrial object, the board, uh, the light off of that doesn't get refracted because I guess he thinks that that light would be special. Pulls the ice in front of the laser beam. He's asking us to concentrate on the laser beam, but not pay attention to the board. But what do you know? The board doesn't change. The board doesn't get pulled up. The board doesn't get pulled down. It doesn't matter what medium he changes, whether he changes it from a hot surface to a cold surface. The board itself does not move. Now, this is terrestrial refraction. In other words, what we would be trying to observe had we been looking at a building in the distance. So by his eagerness to try and debunk D-Marble and D-Marble's laser test, in effect, what he's actually done is debunk terrestrial refraction. Essentially, He's debunked the globe. The board is not moving. That is not being lifted up and bent. I love it when a glober wrecks his own model. The reason he thinks that is because he's made a flawed assumption about my setup. And it's a flawed assumption because I didn't give my complete setup because it wasn't necessary. So let me explain my setup and what he thought was going on. We are in my backyard. This was where my laser was set up uh, just a couple days ago. It was aiming down toward my workshop area where I've, I've set the board back up again. And so his thought is that if I had a camera down at this end and the laser was pointing through the heat field or the cold field at that board and my camera was zooming through that same light, then all the light should be refracted the same way and the board would be refracted with the laser if terrestrial refraction was a thing. And so he's right in his general premise, but he's wrong in his assumption because here's the thing. That is not how I had my uh, demo set up. I didn't have a camera down here at this end zooming in down there. What I had was and we'll take a quick pass through my backyard into my work area, past the birds. What I had was this board set up here, like this, on these, uh, this wood to keep it stable. And then I had this little trash can of mine, and coming out of my little work area there. I had this little trash can set up right here. And I had my camera set here, pointing at the board and zooming in on the area. So the area between the board and the camera wasn't going through the changing temperature of air. The air between the board and the camera stayed the same the entire time, while the laser light was going through the different temperature air. Thus, this board doesn't get refracted by the change in temperature because the camera is not looking through the change in temperature. And this is why I say that flat earthers are the gift that keeps on giving. Because instead of uh, showing that my video debunked terrestrial refraction, what his video did was show that flat earthers, once again, come to conclusions based on flawed assumptions. They take information that they don't have, they fill it in with things that they assume are going on, and then they run to conclusions with it. 
So thank you very much uh, to Ranty and anyone else who promoted that same idea. Thank you, Greater Sapien. I couldn't have performed this test any better. You did it perfectly. I so, so, so appreciate you doing this. Please continue doing these kind of videos. For once again proving that flat earthers and critical thinking don't go together. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.